I was a Nahimina Shaitan, a regime, I seek refuge from the cursed Shaitan. Bismillah, the Rahman, Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uploading this video in relation to um, people in society who are ex saying that they're exposing tyrants when they've got tyrannical uh, um, characteristics themselves. Um, I've been exposing things that have happened to me and my children, um, paedophilia in this country, um, everything that we've been targeted with, and also a story from when I was a teen in, a, in, an, in another country about sexual abuse <coughs> and criminals that were also um, involved with abuse um, in my family as well, my English non-Muslim family and um, some of the Pakistani family uh, members that were non-Muslim as well, some of my gay um, family members, homosexual, astaghfirullah. So yeah, so I've been exposing individuals who've committed crimes and um, most recently I went on to a site, um, an audit site, and I was looking at different auditors trying to distinguish who is genuine i.e. Who, who is really auditing for the public and who has different agendas in relation to the community and what their agendas are. So there's been audits only yesterday proving that the there is police um, infiltrators who work for the establishment trying to intimidate the public on the, on the chats, on their audits, um, and basically they're working with the police but portraying that they're auditing the police. So I've been investigating that um, and finding out, sifting out basically the, the truthful from the liars. And one of the individuals who seems to have taken a real disliking to me, um, all, all I was doing is literally um, commenting on what I saw with his behaviour towards the police. And it was really strange um, on his audit. He was like laughing and joking. It was almost like flirting with the police and he's male. Now, obviously, we know there's a lot of homosexual males in the police force. And I just commented saying that I didn't think that he was actually auditing the police. It seemed like he was boot licking, so to speak. And it was Buzz Tex. He's quite a big, chunky blow. Well, man. And um, he, so he started to be like, rude on the live chat and coming back to me, but in an aggressive manner. And then he blocked, he muted my um, response. So he was commenting, but then muted, muted my response. So I noticed that um, there was a live stream that came up on my channel, which was a lady called this cat woman. She talks like rolls or R's. She's uh, from Blackburn. She's got quite a strong accent. So I started watching her live streaming and on there she kept mentioning buzz text. And I thought, oh, here we go. So I thought, oh, I'll keep watching, see what happens. And on there, he was, this individual was on there. And um, it seemed very, very strange what was going on anyway. In the end, somebody comes on the chat and starts abusing me in, in relation to Muslims, um, saying that we shouldn't teach our children any religion until they're at an age where they can choose, which is absolutely the opposite of what the establishment are doing. So they're indoctrinating our children in schools, teaching them sex at the age of five, grooming them for paedophilia, abusing our children, forcing drugs and alcohol down the throat, saying that it's OK, trying to legalise cannabis in the stores. You can see hemp um, products everywhere now um, and all the other foul crimes that they do we know that any intoxicant that basically changes a state of mind is haram whether we ingest it or we smoke it and that works for the same as um opium and it works the same for cannabis as well whereas this country wants to force everybody into submission to them into their um basically it's all to do with satan so it's everything drugs dr drink alcohol paedophilia abuse tyranny and justice association with other than um Allah so we're like putting people on pedestals undeserved pedestals for little merit like I mean you've got a man now that's eating food with a table that's going round nothing about doing any good deeds in community just eating food and he's being put on this pedestal and the same you've got this buzz text who's on the internet um you know bootlicking police officers and saying how good they are and that it's only just a few bad apples which is a load of rubbish we know that it's not just a few bad apples 
it's the whole establishment. If any good individuals are recruited by mistake, they get forced out in the end. So um, they won't break me, I'll tell you that. They will not break me. They may try, but it won't work. Because by the will of Allah, inshallah, I won't be broken until that day of death. And, then, and, and only Allah will break me, not them tyrants. So, yes, yeah, so I've had some abuse today. And um, the person was calling themselves Mags Maggie. So they couldn't even dare to use the real name, which is spineless in itself, isn't it? When I'm using my real name, Sarah Rospera. Obviously, my father's name is Muhammad and the Prophet's name is Muhammad. So I've, I've double barrel, barreled my name. I'm not giving up Muhammad for nobody. Um, so it's, it's, it's obviously my father is Asian. He's Pakistani. He's not a Muslim anymore, but he has got Muhammad in his name. So my name is double barrel. It's Sarah Rasper Mohammed, so people know my nationality as well. It's quite clear that, um, uh, well, Rosper is was actually Scottish, but my granddad, my granddad was Irish. My grandma was British, full British citizen, not like the Queen German. Um, her ancestors are all British as well. Some were Welsh, mashallah, and so um, yeah. So I just want a little sore to these individuals who think they are going to try and break me it ain't game work love if that's where you're from nor up north pathetic bootlickers so it says here here we go so those who disbelieve and try to abuse the Muslims, it says, those are the ones whom Allah knows what is in their hearts, so turn away from them, but admonish them and speak to them a far-reaching, effective word. Will do, Allah. That's my order from Allah, how to deal with these criminals, these oppressors. And this is in Surah 4 and Nisa. And uh, I don't worry, I won't be backing down. I just hope I get comments from them so I can respond accordingly. Thank you for listening. Jazakallah care. Expose the tyrants um, and try and keep the community safe from these terrorists who go around abusing children, killing children like the monarchy have been accused of by Melanie Shaw and also other people who've accused her of murdering the 10 Canadian children who went missing. Sexual abuse, all the friends from the royal family who were all paedophiles, Freemasons, Jimmy Savile, Epstein, Maxwell, this goes on, Lord Mountbatten, homosexual paedophile. Um, we have to expose these individuals and I'm telling you now, I hope you're listening, monarchy. I won't stop until my children are released. So let's get that straight. Thank you for listening. Jazakallah care. Allah hafiz. Alhamdulillah for the strength Allah has given me. Subhanallah. Mashallah. He is amazing. He is the greatest, the almighty Allah. All praise due to Allah. Thank you for listening. Allah hafiz.